Pisces. This is the night reading. You know, I got day and night. Day and night, baby. How y'all doing? How my baby's doing? Anyway, anyway, anyway. Yeah. So how about this? Let me, um, I got some new decks of car, honey. This is, I gotta show y'all this. But anyway, I had ordered them and they came in. And boy, I'm telling you, I got to study that because um, they some real, real way back in the day cars. Like they into ancestors. And, you know, I talk to y'all a lot about ancestors. Now, ancestors, please don't go all the way back to when it was real crazy in those days. Because, um, you know, if you're going to pray for your ancestors, make sure it's somebody that passed away that you know of. And not somebody that you never met because they that can be real crazy, okay? So, um, so, okay, and I want to stage, 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 stage me, and I was reading your, reading earlier, not even about two hours ago, and it was real crazy to me, but, hey, teachers on. Anyway, um, now what I was going to say, um, so let me show y'all these cards. Is this crazy or what? Can you see it? Yeah, honey, I like that, because, see, I'm into that kind of stuff. And, um, like, I believe in what I believe in, and that's it, and that's all. And I always can tell you way ahead of time what things can happen before it happened. Like I was saying, you know, all this stuff was going on with this war. I, th I was saying that we was going to go into a real war. Come to find out, look what kind of war we fighting. But nobody, you know, nobody out here wants to believe that. They thought I was going crazy. Or sometimes they, they do think that I'm a little bit unnormal, but it's because I'm a Pisces. So what? Y'all know what it is. So back to Pisces Studios. You know my studio is yours. And you know my doors are open to Pisces, and that's what it is, and that's what it is. You know what I mean? So I love you all, Pisces, and I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. And um, I don't know, you know what I mean? Like, I don't just learn from the past, Pisces. You know what I mean? So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know, I still got to get that 1,000 subscribers. And um, <clears throat> I would love to meet it. So let's move on. So now. Okay, so here we go. Let me turn off the phone. Trying to see, I can turn this phone off. Shoot, here we go. So here is my phone turned off. So let me get started with this reading. You know, I don't do no cross watches. So if you want to join us, the door is open. But I don't get into all that. Um, don't, um, I did say don't forget to like, um, share, and subscribe, right? I know I did. So um, let's not waste that much time to move along. Pisces, don't forget to wash your hands, Pisces, and um, go into them stores. And if you don't really have to go to the store, try to make that stuff like one day, once a week, and not all the time, you know what I mean? And um, try not to eat a lot of stuff that ain't good for you, like pasta and all that stuff that ain't good for you, because you got to watch your health too, honey, you know what I mean? Like, you really need to watch your health and not eat all that, the meats and stuff. Meat ain't good for you, because they sit on your system for a long time, red meat. And all that other stuff. If you do eat red meat, eat it once in a while. If you eat chicken, make sure you eat it right out the, you know, the, the skin. And um, just make sure you, like, take care of yourself. You know what I mean? And if y'all don't um, like me, I like to um to do a lot of uh smoothies. And, I, you know, I got, like, something I put in my refrigerator. And I try to drink one in the morning and in the evening and eat me a dinner, a nice dinner. But only because my butt was getting fat too. Woo -hoo. But, um, you know, because I like to eat fried food and I have to stop. But when I get on fried food, honey, I go all the way like, like a nutcase. Let me go on now because it's four minutes in and I don't, uh uh. I need to do this reading and one of these cards was flipped over. So let's go. Ready? Uh, so, this is the Lenormand's cards, okay? They're not um, tail decks. They're the. The Normans, okay? So, spirits, tell me what Pisces need to know. Tell me what Pisces need to know. Spirits, tell me what Pisces need to know tonight, today. Spirit, tell me what Pisces need to know. 
Spirit, tell me what Pisces need to know. Ooh, ooh. So, I have here, ooh, ooh. I got the ring first. Okay, the ring. Then after that, I looked, I had, um, the four, okay, which is, um, this is God. Let me see. Okay, so these flowers, um, they're not quite open and it's not a rose, so, okay, so that's just like a little bit of it. Like, uh, you know, not a whole lot going on there. And so then after that, you got the sword, which is a child. The sword with the child playing with the wand and twirling that one around like they playing a little game here, okay? So it's going to be a lot of little game going on. So let's move it on. So now that all of that fell out, let me get some more. So how about, um, oh no, let's start off with this. So here you have a ring with flowers. This ring has flowers. And maybe they offer in friendship. It's not an engagement ring. It's maybe like friendship ring. Or often friendship. Or, you know what I mean? Maybe they want to be a friendship. Not engagement, not marriage, friendship. And this person's coming with, you know, wanting to give you something. Okay? So they offer friendship. They want to come with a little something, something. This is the six and six, but six of it's the eight. Okay. And um they're coming to offer you something like a friendship. Like somebody wants to be friends with you. And I don't know yet if what it is, but let's move on. And then you have this child twirling this little thing and it's spinning fast because this I can see it. Okay. But then it's it's the sword. And this can be um Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. And it's the King of Swords. And maybe this person was one time a player, wanted to play games and show off and act like he was in control always and what he said was. And um it's always like, you know, a little game plan or like maybe you can be um just for example like if you can have a conversation with this person and you say um well i bought all these drinks and i had them sitting down on the counter i took a picture and you send it to him as a text message just to show him you can have a good time and then the next day you talk to him and be like well oh uh, i just i didn't feel like doing that and mine was it's, i just put it away he was like well i, I still want to have it um a party or something you know because they always want to feel important or they want to feel better than you Okay, they always want to feel like they're better than you. But, okay, better than you. Better than you. And that's what I don't like. I don't like the fact that is a man, and how do you want to be with me or get with me, but you want to always be better than me? Like, whatever happened to us being friends, like, real friends, like, I don't want, um, I want to be on the same level. I don't want you to, you know, like, why are you trying to, um, Go against me or why are you trying to um like we running a race or why do you always want to um finish the um finish line before everybody like why do you always feel like you need to be in charge or why do you want to have the last word or why is it that you always trying to run over here when you can't run over here and that is exactly why you're nothing but a friend and that's exactly why you come just with this that it ain't even bloom it's not even open because that's exactly what you come with. Everything, you're close-minded, you're all into yourself. It's me, me, me. And then you got the nerves to, you know, still want to play these games and trying to be a, a captain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's funny. So moving on. So tell me, Spirit, tell me a little bit about Pisces and what, what is all this about. Tell me a little bit about Pisces when these cards have flipped over. Yes, they have. So, Pisces, these, this card flip flop, which is a uh, um, fox, and he's hiding. And that, to me, that feels like, you know, this person that wants to act like he's this person is still this person. Here's somebody 
older, but act younger, okay, and try to be sneaky, conniving, deceiving, and all of that with you, okay, being a little snake and got to sit there, got the nerves to kill a, a, a bird and put it, right, look, stepping on it, because that's what he does, he always want to be on top of things, he want to be better, and by all means, he would do whatever it takes to get that, okay, very selfish, okay, and, um, and then you got the King of Swords, which you got him, the King of Swords, which is, um, and this is, I would say this is like the knight, and this is the king, because the knight is like somebody that's coming towards you, and um, with some type of news, and but still want to play little games and stuff, you know what I mean, like, you know, like he, he would cut anything and everybody off to, to get to you, but, but still with all of that, he don't come with nothing good because he's still being sneaky, conniving. And like I said, we'll cut anything off to get to you. Look at that. He got the damn bird and got his paws over the damn bird's neck. Okay, because that's exactly how he want to have you under him. And then what? And then, then he, here he is again. Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. And Storm. It's, it's very stormy. He's very gray and and like very um nasty um he ain't trying to he's trying to be the boss by all means he's like taking over and like saying I'm gonna get to you no matter what and still want to be you're gonna be right under him if you decide to go back to this because it is nothing but gray gray all over him and look look and it's like this mountain that you probably done climbed and went over but it's right there clear as day he wants to start he he's not coming back with no good intentions he's coming back to be who he always been. So that type of person, you need to give him some more time to think. Or maybe keep him just like this as a friend. As a friend. Because maybe you think he wants more. Or maybe you see like, oh, he's coming back. But in his mind, he wants to be a friend. A friend. And still, friend, he still wants to come with close to nothing. And he's still in Run it in because he still wants to control this little game thing he always had going on. And then he wants to be sneaky and conniving. Okay, because why? Because he wants to get to you. Okay, and he wants you to be under him, controlling you. And why? Because <clears throat> he is this king. <clears throat> and it's like, and it's literally, if you can see real good, it's like a storm. It's like a storm and it's raining and all. It's like a storm brooding. And this is exactly what he wants. It's something about to happen and it's not going to be nice. It's going to be like a tower moment that's coming because this person doesn't want nothing but to be a friend but still want to control you because he cannot see you with nobody. He wants to see you to himself because he cannot see you with nobody and don't want you to be happy. Don't want you to move on. He just wants you to be stuck, okay, with him. So tell me, um, let's move on now. What's going on? I'm going to do some reading because earlier the reading was very quick, and I want to get down to this reading, baby. Let's get down to this reading, this stormy old reading that this man is playing games and stuff, honey. And I'm hoping, Pisces, because you know you, you can go in and out for this person that ain't worth jack shit. But let's go. Now let's move on. You know who they are. I don't know who it is because... Like I say, I don't, I don't, I don't, mm -mm. So, okay. So, now, you got this ship coming in. A ship, honey. Look at this. And do you see that water? Tell me, do you see the water? Does that water look like it's calm? No, it don't. Because this man is coming, trying to, trying to be all nasty, vicious with the mouth. You ain't going to never get a word in. Because they change. They, if you don't see him and then you back in contact with him, Okay, getting you back was good. Oh, I changed. And you can see that because that's to get you back in so that they can go right back to who they really was. And guess what? They are here. They're here. You can see that ship. That ship ain't far. That I can literally see that ship clear as day. But they're coming in not to be humble. They're coming to be who they always been. Read my lips. Okay, moving on. All right, that's what I'm saying. And cloudy, it ain't no sun, no shining, no nothing. Cloudy as you can be. It ain't no sun in none of these cars, okay? Tell 
tell me, tell me what Pisces need to know. Because God, I ain't got no, not one good call about none of this. Tell me what Pisces need to know. Tell me what Pisces need to know. Tell me what Pisces need to know. And Pisces, he's coming to offer you everything because it's a nine. Six, seven, eight. Okay. So he's coming to offer you something. And there you go. Now, it's up to you whether to take it or not. That ain't none of my business. It's on you. That is quite on you. Because you're looking. How about this? All right. Not only. Is he offering you something? But look at this. He got you looking at him and he got his back towards you. Back towards you. He's coming. To, he, he ain't looking like this. He's looking like this. So he's coming to offer you something. But really, he ain't really want, really. He just want to keep you so that nobody else can have you. Because his back is turned against you. And you are looking at him. Okay? He ain't, your back ain't towards him. His back is towards you. Okay? Sorry, my nails are long, so it's kind of hard for me to pick up these cards. So I'm reading from another deck now, so you know. So are we understanding what I just said? Should I go back? Let me go back real quick. Comment with a friendship offer. And he ain't got to give you this ring. Coming means you may think in your head, oh, he still want to come back with me. But he's coming with this. Just friends. Just friends. In, in his head. In your head is like he wants to get back with me. That's how sneaky he is. Coming off you what? Your flowers ain't even open. Okay? A lot? No, it's not. Okay? Young. A young, um, a young page, right? Um, very quick, very arrogant, um, a sore, um, he is still one to play games, all right? A fox, someone trying to hold you back. And want to keep you right under them. Look, the chicken is dead. And he got his hand over the chicken's neck. And laying right under the chicken's wing. Or the bird wing. Whatever he got there. He got it and got that grin on his damn face. Evil little sucker. Okay. You done climbed that mountain, honey. You been there and done that. But guess what? He's coming back. And it's going to be very cloudy. If you choose to come back, go back to this. You can see the ship clear as day, which means he's coming. Do you see that it's cloudy? Yes, you do. Do you see that them waves are just banging on it? Yes, you do. Means to say that it's going to be very, very, very stormy. Okay? He wants to offer you something. But is it real? Or is it just to keep you still? And still under him. Yes, it is. Because he got his back. He got sis. Okay, wait a minute. Yeah. So this is the way it looks in the cards when you lay it my way. He's looking that way and you looking his way. So, yes, it's easy for you to fall in love with him. Because, yes, you care for this man. Okay. And, yes, he's a manipulator. And, yes, he's an instigator. And, yes, he's a user. And, yes, he just wants you to be home. He don't care if you're talking about your family. He don't care about nobody. His world is his world, and your world is his world. And do you, he wants you to have friends? No. He wants you to see nobody but stuck in the house by yourself. And why he can do whatever he wants to do. Okay? So this is from a whole nother reading. Okay, but it's still the Norman's cards. Okay, so here you go. Maybe the what? Maybe the what? 
Maybe what? Let's find out what this maybe is about. This whole new side. Maybe the what? Maybe the what, spirits? Tell me maybe the what? Because you see my face, I ain't playing either. Maybe the what? Maybe to what? Maybe the what? What are they maybe for? What are they maybe about? What do they want? What do you want? What, the, what is the maybe about? What is the maybe on their side or Pisces side? What is the maybe about? What is the maybe? You got two cards. You got the fox again. The fox again. Manipulator. Stay alert. Just be very alert, okay? Stay alert. Very like a, a corn artist. Corn artist, okay? A manipulator, okay? Very, cle very clever. You know, knows what he wants to do. Be careful, okay? Under that, you got the child, okay? Someone that you knew from the past. He sees you, Pisces, as being very innocent, that he can manipulate, that he can use. Because now, y'all start over again, okay? Y'all wasn't speaking this, but here we go again. Something, you know, and this is, he already showing his true colors. Already showing his true colors, Pisces. He is showing the true colors like, like nothing, honey. He's like all just yes, showing that true colors, showing who he really is. Because he can't, he can't even hide who he is. So if you start to talk to this guy again, or this good woman again, or whoever she is again, or he is, if I show, I sit back all over again. Sit back. Because what it is, it's like you feel like you can't let go. Like you feel like, are you afraid to be alone? What are you attached to? Because I feel like, it, I feel like, to me, it's like, is it a sex thing? Because this person can't even stay still long enough to even be around you. It's like they come in and out of your, your life, in and out of your house. Like, they can't offer you nothing. Oh, my God. Pissing me off. Mm -mm -mm. The tower. The tower. And the tower in in um in these cards don't mean it's the same as that card, okay? But the tower here means like a ruler, and that's him. They want to keep you inside and don't let you go nowhere. Insulation. In solitude. In, in solitude. Okay, in solitude. Not insulation. I'm sorry. Insulation what? Hoo hoo ha. -ha. In solitude. Want to keep you in, close in, that you can't see nobody, don't want you to be around nobody, don't want you to have friends, and not just want to keep you in, okay? This is like, this is horrible. This is horrible. They, and it show, and this is no lie, because it shows some, here's the house again. Here's this child playing with something, right? And here, here's this house again. So they trying to keep you in. So try to keep you away from everybody and trust and believe in me. I don't give a damn what's going on in that world. Believe in me, his clothes ain't, his doors ain't shut. His doors are wide open. People are coming in and out, in and out. He wants you to believe this. People are not, but people are. Okay, so boss, you, I'll sit back. And, and let this, you know, I, I bet you that if you, it's a certain time that you can talk to him and it's a certain time you can't even get to him. And if you text him and say, oh, I called you last night or I try to get with you and I can get no calls or nothing, like that, but you need to text me back. You know why? I don't even have to tell you why. It's a damn liar. Girl, listen, babies, y'all deserve so much better than this. And I just feel like somebody's letting this past come right back in. And to me, it's like, didn't I say wait for five or ten years to go by? Be married and have kids before you even want to see this trash? Didn't I tell y'all that in yesterday's reading? Take it. I, I, I ain't no reason to lie to y'all. Take it. 
this this person is still being like a little kid and is a grown ass person like living a little kid's world like please you honey he got you in you in, in in the house came like making you believe that you shouldn't go out or shouldn't do this and shouldn't do that and oh don't get sick don't be around people and all this and that they should know not to want to even call and be bothered with you because don't they know how bad it is outside and all these freaking lies. Well, it is the truth. You shouldn't be outside because you know what's going on. But this is him trying to manipulate you one more time. And you sitting there like so innocent. So innocent to the bull crap. Tell me what the three are. Tell, I mean, tell, give me another call for Pisces. Give me another call for Pisces, please. Give me another call for Pisces, please. Give me another call for Pisces, please. Give me another call for Pisces, please, Spirit. Give me another call for Pisces. Give me another call for Pisces, Spirit, please. Give me another call for Pisces. Give me another call for Pisces, Spirit, please. Give me another call for Pisces. Give me another call for Pisces, Spirit, please. Give me another call for Pisces. Give me another call for Pisces, Spirit. Give me another call for Pisces. Give me another card. The cross. Are you sacrificing a lot for this person? Yes, you are. Is he trying to bury you a lot? Yes, he is. Okay. Do you have regrets? Are you grieving all of this crap? Grieving the loss of what? That wasn't a loss. That was a blessing. Grieving what? Being apart? Having regrets of what? You deserve so much better. Because he ain't got no regrets. They ain't got no regrets over you. They want to bury you alive, baby. They want to just take your soul like the devil. Control you. So you can't see the light. Okay? That's crazy. What are you sacrificing? Yourself? Your beliefs? Your self-respect? Your self-love? What are you sacrificing? Feeling sorry for yourself? Afraid to open up the door for something new because you're so used to being with this trash That you think you don't know no better when you do You letting him cloud your world The mountains. Difficult times. Uphill and you're climbing again. Roadblocks. Obstacles. I, I can show you every car that's laying on this table. And I'm not lying to you. Every car on this table means that you're giving up your power. Why are you giving up your power? Why? Why? If I do a reading that says that this person from your past that hurt you and demolished you and tortured you is coming back, listen to me. Listen to me. If I say that to you, don't pat yourself on the back and get a smile and get your dimples up. Don't do that. Do the opposite and run for your life because I told you. I told you get married. I told you have kids, have a whole new foundation. Right? I told you this man to come back or this woman to come back years and years after when they realize and grow up because they can be the ages they want, but they got a mind like a little kid. 
And as long as they got that mind like a little kid and they got that sword, they think they can cut you and use you and abuse you any kind of way they want. And that's exactly what they're doing because you're allowing them to do it. Stop playing with me, Pisces. I'm not playing. I'm very serious. If I tell you something, it's because I know. I don't care who he is. He can't be no better than that door that's opening up. He can't be no better than that new person. That new person loves you. They're not going to use and abuse you. At least you know that this person done all wrong and never, never, nothing ever right. If anybody can tell you that they didn't walk on you and tell you they never cared about you many a times, ignore you, ghost you, trash you. You're not going to give somebody the opportunity that you don't even know? Well, look, shame on you. Shame on you. I'm going to read these cards. And I'm, I, I'm, I, I got to go. Because um, I can't. My pressure is not going to go up for Pisces that I done told y'all over and over and over and over and over. Now, I'm going to shuffle these cards. Again, again, and please, Lord, let it say something good. Give me, and I'm getting two cards and only two cards. Yes, I am, because I'm very pissed off. Give me a card for Pisces. 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 Express your love. Go ahead and make. The Romance Jester. Give me another call for Pisces. 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 Give me another call for Pisces, spirits. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart and give and receive. The biggest the biggest energy, the biggest energy of all. Give it to somebody new. Let somebody treat you like a queen and a king. Let someone open the doors for you for once. Let someone love you, respect you more than you can ever ask for in someone else. Than to be with trash that don't even care. Did you give them a little smell? A little smell of you leaving them alone. And they get that little smell and they don't know what to do. You got them all going crazy. And then you give them that hello back. And now they want to take you down again and torture you. I say you would never go back to the way you was, and I know that for a fact, but the thought of me knowing that you just allowed in this again is pissing me off. So the one thing I want to say before I hang up Pisces, respect and love yourself, because if you don't have no respect for yourself and you don't have no love for yourself, then nobody else is going to give it to you. So what you mirroring is what you look at and what you're going to get, which is the past and you ain't going to have time to open up this door because you are stuck again. And on that, I say good night. And I also say that my doors are open no matter what, that I will help you any way I can. I don't love you any less. But I know that you can do better. Okay? And if I'm pissed off, yeah, I am pissed off. Mm -hmm. So I hope that this pissed off that I got a rub right on you. Right at you. Because that's how mad I am. Do you understand? And I'll see you tomorrow in the morning. And I hope this is going to be a whole different ball game. I'm telling you, don't sell your soul to the devil. You came in this world by yourself, and you're going to leave by yourself.
And if you disrespect your soul, this is the only thing that's going to leave with you, then shame on you. Because when you're gone, they will still be the same. Screwing the next person and the next person and anybody else that leaves the door open for the devil to come in and ruin everything that they work for. Because that's the kind of person he is. Very sneaky, conniving, deceived. And that's why he don't know how to stop getting high and drunk. Because that's who he is. Mm. All right? He's trash. Trash is trash. And I just went and dumped my trash out. And I wish I would have known about this reading. Because guess what? Y'all all can dump your trash right in my basket. And I'll be glad to dump it out for y'all. Okay? I love you, Pisces. Be blessed. And have a great night. Bye. Yes, I'm sad. Bye.